Let kids be kids. Leave our kids alone. I was confronted by an article over the weekend that said children as young as three months old can actually be racist. Islington Council, yes, it had to be Islington, didn't it? London's Islington Council produced a poster that basically insinuated that babies are racially biased. This is ridiculous. Children of that age are basically like me on a Saturday night, unable to talk or walk in continent and incapable of independent thought. By definition, they cannot be racist. If they do happen to gravitate towards people who happen to be of the same skin colour as their primary caregiver, then that's a natural human thing. It's basic recognition, isn't it? It's not an indication that we're raising a bunch of tiny little adults. I imagine the left get themselves tied up in knots here. Because presumably, this applies to all children, not just those who happen to be white. So, ethnic minority children are racially biased too then, are they? Surely they can't have that, can they? But this is part of a bigger picture of child interference, as far as I'm concerned. Are children transphobic or homophobic? No, I don't think they are. And yet we have a situation where an A-level student is hounded out of school and called a heretic for daring to question transgender ideology, i.e. that women are women, they don't have a penis, and that's that. It should hardly be considered radical stuff, this, should it? And yet it is. In Wales, children as young as three are said to be taught about sexual attraction. As far as I'm concerned, that's perverted and, frankly, bordering on child abuse. Leave them alone. I wouldn't tolerate it anyway, frankly, but it would be marginally more palatable for me if the person teaching my three-year-old about gender and sexual orientation was a trained professional. But it's not. It's Gladys from the geography department, isn't it? What the heck does she know? And then when I go into school and complain about some random middle-aged failed weather woman confusing the living heck out of my young kid, apparently I'm transphobic. All right, um, frankly, that's a cross that I'm happy to bear because this is utter, utter madness. And I'm not the weird one in this scenario, for once. Kids are being indoctrinated with this net zero big green agenda as well, the pin-up of which appears to be, as far as I can see, Prince Harry, a man who took a private jet to an environmentalist retreat and another private jet home from a charity polo match. If politicians and teachers really cared about kids, they'd be doing more to stop grooming gangs, which clearly exist in pretty much every single town and city in the UK. But what happens when someone speaks out about it? Well, Labour MP Sarah Champion found out that you basically get cancelled by your own political party. If we really cared about improving the quality of life for our children, We'd allow scholarships for working-class white boys, consistently the worst-performing demographic of children in our education system. But the opposite happens. Two leading private schools, Dulwich, Co Dulwich Co College sorry, and Winchester College, refuse to accept donations of up to £1 million to help give working-class white lads a leg up in the world. But Stormzy and co can give whatever they like towards scholarships for ethnic minorities, as indeed they should, by the way. I think that's a great thing, don't get me wrong. I'm just saying that it has to be able to work the other way around as well, doesn't it? We've got a situation where teachers are hiring drag acts or a person dressed in a rainbow-coloured monkey costume with a visibly exposed penis. Yes, if you don't believe me, Google it. Just don't do it on a work laptop, I imagine. To entertain young children. Can we just stop it? Can we just not do this stuff to kids? Stop banging on about child racism, child transphobia. Stop indoctrinating them with weird stuff. I'll finish how I started. Leave our kids alone. And let kids be kids.